two government ministries have differed over their stand on the use of a herbicide commonly known as Roundup. Now, while the health ministry advocates for the total ban, its agriculture counterpart says it is misinformed. Jim Tygoween is up next with the details. Helpful or harmful is the question the Joint Senate Health and Agriculture Committee will be seeking to answer as it seeks to clear the air over the conflicting conclusion on the relationship between the use of pesticides and cancer in human beings. Roundup is the go-to herbicide for farmers who can't afford to hire laborers to clear their land of various types of weeds. Reports now linking the popular herbicide to cancer at a time when there are rising cases. Health Principal Secretary Susan Mochache and her agriculture counterpart Professor Hamadi Boga differing sharply over the effects. We want to know at the end of the day uh, whether we are safe or we are not. Roundup's inert ingredients can kill human cells, particularly embryonic, placental and umbil umbilical cord cells. It is in consideration of this that WHO issued a precaution of its continued use due to its risk of causing cancer. Joint review by FAO and WHO meeting on pesticides residue, JMMPR, and we sit in those committees, concluded that glyphosate is unlikely to pose a carcinogenic risk to humans from exposure to diet. And from what has transpired today, I think we are more confused than the last time when we started. A number of European Union countries have banned the use of the controversial weed killer. The Kenya Medical Research Institute will release an in-depth scientific analysis on the herbicide within 60 days. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.